Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna do a Try Hack Me room called The Sticker Shop. So I did do this on my live the other day, out of the blue, I just got on because a friend of mine said to check it out, and I did, but it was going a little wonky, but I actually wanted to do a thorough walkthrough and get a little more detail and stuff that actually works. I got the code, got everything that we need, so we should be golden. The room is already done because I did it on my live, but this is the official walkthrough. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the flip side. All right, folks, so here we are, the sticker shop. So this was a pretty easy machine, but you know, on my live, my code was a little wonky. It wasn't working. So it actually worked after I got some code from a friend, but it shot me back a base 64 code. And then we have to go to CyberChef and decrypt it and all that stuff. So on this official walkthrough, I actually did the box again to actually get the flag. So I want to walk you through getting that right now. Once you start the machine up, let's just come down on the site and we're going to get the IP address and the title, which is sticker shop. And my IP address is 10.10.129.241. So if we come down here, we can see what the, what the challenge is, right? Your local sticker shop has developed their own website. They do not have much experience regarding web development, so they decide to develop and host everything on the same computer that they use for browsing the internet and looking for customer feedback. Smart move. Yeah, very smart move. So having everything residing on one machine obviously is never good. And I remember getting into the world of IT, everyone had like their file server, DNS, DHCP, domain controllers, all on one machine, especially like small businesses, they normally do that. But obviously with the cloud now, it's, it's, a, it's a lot different today. But the challenge is, can you read the flag at HTTP colon slash slash 10.10.129.241 colon 8080 flag.txt. The flag is here, but I want to walk you through getting that again. So if we go to that website, it says 401 unauthorized. So if we just go directly to the page, right, we have some stickers. And what really stuck out with this box, I said it live yesterday, was the little sticker with a skateboarder, because I used to always sticker up my boards. And uh, I miss skating. I, I stay on my board in my garage. But, um, due to my my back issues and everything like that i had to give it up because i know me and i'll go a little mental thinking i'm 20 years old again but anyhow so welcome to the cat sticker shop this is actually cool cats so we have one for 2.99 3.99 we can inspect we can view the source and let's see what's crack a lack in here i looked at this yesterday so it's doc type html so we know it's html right so we can X out of here and we can come back up. We can go to feedback. So it says, please, uh, please submit your feedback regarding your product. We can say, um, awesome, awesome stickers, right? Thanks. Okay. And then we can submit. So down here, it says, thanks for your feedback. It will be evaluated shortly by, by our staff. So this is telling me there's HTML injection maybe, right? So yesterday when I was tinkering with this, I, I always have a tickle on my nose. I think it's the cat hair. But anyhow, so now what we can try to do is I'm going to do Python 3. And I think I was doing Netcat yesterday, but I was just trying to do different ways and, and make this work. So we're going to do this, 8081. I want to go ahead and listen any incoming connections to this. So due to time and I already have all my, all the code, or maybe I don't have the code there, but it's fine. I think I remember, and if I don't, I can go ahead and Google it really quick, but it's going to be image, oh man, source. And then we're gonna do equals HTTP colon slash slash and the IP address is up here on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do 10.6.25.168 colon 8081. Okay. 
So now if I, I wanna go ahead and copy this just to make sure. If I submit this now, technically we should get a response from here. So we'll give this a second, see if there's any responses. There we go. We just got a response. So we know uh, HTML injection does work. So now what we have to do is try to read that flag.txt, right? So let's go ahead and kill this for now. And I wanna go ahead and just put this in here for my first step. So the second one, what we're gonna do is I have this code just for simplistic sake. This is what I was tinkering with. So we have script, we're gonna fetch the flag.txt, <coughs> excuse me. And then we're gonna respond the response.txt and then we're gonna give the data and window.location. Blah, 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 and then put our IP address and then we're gonna, we're gonna receive the flag. So let's see if this works, right? We're gonna be listening on the same exact thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing, right? And how I got this was pretty simple. This is why I actually put this. Before I actually do that, instead of you guys copying it, you guys can just go out to ChatGPT and this is exactly what I did. And I just copied, let's go ahead and just copy this here. So I have a text field that has an HTML injection right? Because we, we found that out by doing the image source, right? Now I want to be able to read the flag.txt on the server endpoint because I put in anything into the field and it's able to read and give me HTML code. So once I hit this, sorry, I can't assist you. All right, we'll just do it a few times. Sometimes it takes a few times. And, and if it doesn't work, maybe I have to be logged in. Let's see if it, that works. I can't assist. All right, so maybe let me go ahead and just do uh, Google. And I wanna go ahead, I'm just doing that and then I wanna do ChatGPT. Uh, ChatGPT, sorry. And let's go ahead and do this. Try ChatGPT and see if it actually uh, stay logged out. And let's see if this actually, I'm gonna say, let's see if it'll, all right, there we go. So now, and what I did, once it gave me the code, it didn't, it's not giving really much code here. Uh, that's interesting. But anyhow, see now it says you violated. But any, anyhow, like do it when you're logged in and you can just put something along those lines, right? And then once you get the code, you just make the modifications and you point to the IP address that you want to, that you have in your Try Hack Me. All right, so let's just go ahead and finish this video off because it's a very, very simple task that it was really, really annoying yesterday when um, nothing worked. Nothing never works live, but whatever, it is what it is. All right, so let's come back here to the feedback and moment of truth, if I click on here, submit, we should get the flag. Not that, sorry. And here we go. So let me do a control C. So now we have the flag right here, right? So you can just copy from the six all the way to the THM, copy this, and then you can see here, try hack me. And obviously I submitted it already, but it's right here, right? So yesterday, the way I got it, I was getting the, the uh, base 64, and we can do that one really quick as well. Let me just, I don't think I have that code saved. Let me see if I do. And just so we can show you multiple ways to do it. I don't think I have that. All right, so let's just, let's just give me a sec. I have it on my machine here and we'll, I'm gonna to have to get it to my local machine. So give me a second and I'm not gonna cut the video. I wanna show you guys. Oh, is this it right here? Oh, that's the flag. That's not what I wanted. Copy this. All right, so is that the same thing? Yeah, it looks like the same thing. All right, so let's just copy this. So pretty much this is just a little different code. Make this a little bigger. So script fetch.txt uh, method get. So that's the, that's the mode. 
And then credentials, blah, blah, blah. And I got this from a buddy. So obviously we had to have to change some IP addresses and the, the port and all that stuff. So let's just come back to our Kali machine. And I'm just gonna make, I wanna put this here. And then I wanna put enter, 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 so it comes up a little more. All right, so let's just change this to the same IP address, 10.6.25.168.0.0.0. AD 81. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you multiple ways to do this. I want to copy this and let's go ahead and do this one more time and see if this works. Okay. You know what? Let's see if this works. And if it doesn't, we can do, we'll do it four, 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 four. All right, so it's it's calling back the same thing. All right, so let's just do 4444, okay? And then let's just paste this in. Instead of 8081, let's just do 4444 and see if that works. Or we can do netcat next, if anything. Let's see if that works. We'll give this a second. No? All right, so let's see if we do Netcat. Give me a second. Let's do netcat 4444 and see if this works. We already got the flag, so this is just a, a bonus. Which one I see? Oh, I, I put the wrong IP address here. That would probably help. 10625168. Let's submit this and let's see if this thing calls back. There we go. So if you get this, we have this base64 here, right? So we can copy this. And now we can go out to Cyberchef. I think I still have it up. It's actually right here. So it's the same thing, right? If I paste this here, and then right here is the flag, right? So there's two ways to get the flag, but that is pretty much it for today. So that's how you completely do the sticker shop. And I hope you found this informative. Thank you so much for checking this out. Happy new year. Hopefully all your wishes, all your loved ones are okay for the new year. And I hope all comes true in 2025. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.